What's up, people? It's um, Tuesday the 21st, winter, winter, salt, first day of winter. I'm sending a message because um, it's extraordinary. Um, you folks, I appreciate the connection, but I have boundaries and um, I need to I need to make this public because um, I want you folks who are requesting my time in other parts of uh, social media don't take it personally when I say um, I don't want to talk or I'm not going to start a conversation with you. Please understand that this is happening to me all the time all the time seriously every day I'm hearing from not every day I can say every week so a few times every week I get requests for message for messages to talk or 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 even to call you know and I understand it folks but I'm setting this boundary and it may seem in a way unfair because if you lived in Omaha you know and maybe invited me out to coffee I might take you up on it I might not but I just want to explain that you know I appreciate the appreciation but I also understand how folks want to talk you know on all kinds of levels and I probably many of you I wouldn't want to want to talk to as well but I don't spend time on the internet in conversation I make videos I post records I watch movies documentaries I interact with my family but I'm not on here chit-chatting with people I've even had people complain to me in the record groups that, you know, you know, all you do is post your records, you know. Well, that's all I want to do. You know, I want to show you what I'm playing. I want to see what you're playing. Um, the occasional bit of information or conversation will pop up that catches my interest and in. I'll talk a little bit. Um, you folks that just got a hold of me, you, 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 you know who you are, and please don't. Don't take it personally. Don't be upset. Well, I can't tell you not to be upset. I'm just saying. I got to do this, okay? I got to keep it like this because um, I also have people who are in my history musically who I'm, I'm friendly. I love people. So when you encounter me um, in person, I'm very friendly, you know, you know. And so I have people who are kind of broken, not kind of, people who have problems, who have glommed on to me, and they'll just write me and start and tell, telling me stuff. I don't respond. I had it happen last night, and I, and I felt like I had to respond to this one woman. And then she wanted to keep going and started talking about her family. See, I, no, okay. So that's what I'm saying, please. <laughs> <laughs> I also understand that good company is in short supply. That uh, and that's really a, another reason why I spend a lot of time alone is because I like good conversation, but a lot of people don't know how to converse very well at all. The, the back and forth is what I lo I long for, and and most. Most people don't are unaware that it's a two-way street. It's a give and take. You know, I know how to show interest in you, even if I'm not interested. But for the sake of being together, I'll take that time to give you my attention. I like it when I receive it in return, and that doesn't happen hardly ever at all. One of the people who in my life who is... Thankfully, and it's amazing, he's so young, but my buddy Blake, he is really 
turning into a really good friend and shows interest in me, you know, in, in my concerns. Like I am concerned, have interest in him. It's nice when it's reciprocal. But 90% of the time, once the ball gets rolling, the other person just wants to talk about themselves and I get completely forgotten. Once again, three people this morning, just to qualify, it wasn't one, it was three people this morning that wanted to chit chat and get into this and that. And I just said, you know, yeah, it's, it's good to hear from you know. That's what, that's what prompted it, okay? It was like, it wasn't just one, it wasn't two, it was three this morning. It's like, oh, okay, let me say something, okay? Much love to you all, okay? Seriously, much love to you all. So, musically, it's not really a Christmas song, but I was reminded to play it. Mew, She Came Home for Christmas. This is a CD single by Mew, my boys from Denmark. It wasn't that long ago I had a, a quick word with Jonas Bier, the lead singer of the band. He's got this new project called, called Takis, T-A-C-H-Y-S. I like it. I don't imagine I'll be seeing any vinyl from that in this part of um, the country, but I like the videos. Interesting, one of them is pretty bloody. It's almost like, hmm, I wonder if Jonas is expressing... He got divorced a while back, and I wonder if he's processing that. I don't know. That was one of the thoughts I had, because the video was uh, so... Um, it wasn't shocking. It was kind of like, hmm, okay, there's a message here. Okay. Um, so, so yeah. So a couple of records. Let's just do it like that, okay? So I like progressive rock. I don't like um, NAF progressive rock. Um, a band that's close to NAF to me is Dream Theater. The music is great. I I cannot stand those vocals. Here is an example of a modern progressive rock band. Well, they're already gone, but I think this is this is this is I almost perfect in my opinion of what a good progressive rock album is. Kino, this picture. Uh, all these guys have background. It bites. Chris Maitland, the drummer here, was the original drummer for. Porcupine Tree, and as much as I like Porcupine Tree, I don't think Porcupine Tree has made an album this good. And I like Porcupine Tree, and I collect them. And Kino made another album after this, and it doesn't touch this. This is kind of like this was a one-off. This makes me cry. Okay, oh. Uh, it's not the words, it's the feeling. There's a soaring feeling of I'm trying to get through to you in a lot of these songs. Very emotional. And the drumming is very emotional, very propulsive. And I can understand why Chris Maitland wanted to leave Porcupine Tree when they wanted, went in a, in a metal direction and got Gavin Harrison. Now Gavin Harrison as a drummer is a great te technician, but he has no feeling. It's very cold and clinical. Chris, on the other hand, that's what I like about liked about the early Porcupine Tree with his drumming is that he would explode. There'd be times he's playing, and then he'll feel something and he'll play it, and it, and it's an explosion. I love that. Tony Williams was good at that in his drumming. That he would just he was also always playing playing very propulsively but things would rise to the surface that would explode out of him. And that happens with Chris Maitland's drumming in Porcupine Tree and also this album. This, I think, is one of the best modern progressive albums made. And people like, like those kind of comments. So I will also say this, when people ask me, what's your favorite this, favorite that, my main mind begins a clusterfuck. But once I get talking about something, I can start to say, well, this, 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 and this. But I don't think in those terms of favorites anymore. Not at all. Nebraska band. Um, for against. You guys know about these guys? They're friends of mine. I was just... Um, someone online last night posted this album. This three-record box set. 
December. And I thought to myself, yeah, it's December. It's Solstice. Let's play this. And um, great album. Great band. Seriously. One of the bands that I think helped to establish what we consider dream pop. Heard from Jeff Runnings, the leader of the band, this morning. Because I posted this on my Facebook after listening to it as well. And he thanked me and invited me out for coffee. Had some great shows with Four Against back in the day. And, um, yeah, Four Against, one of Nebraska's greatest. Truly. Played some great shows with them in, while I was in the band Digital Sex. German rock band, Ken Ping Man. This is a collector's item. For some reason, this album, you can't get it for cheaper than 300 bucks. And it's... Um, it's not kraut rock. It's the Germans still emulating American rock, but it's got this feeling different from America. That picture, there's a warm, sunny summer, very good type of feeling to this album. They do a great version of the Beatles come together on this. That's just a horrible cover. So the four against play last night led me to playing this because it's a similar sound. Sad Lovers and Giants, do you know this band? Cowboys, this is a 12 inch single. My band Digital Sex, we used to cover one of their songs, Big Tracks, Little Tracks. Love this band, it still sounds great. Seriously. Find out about this band if you don't know them. And you like that shoe, any shoegaze, post rock, uh, dream pop, any of that stuff, if you're interested in, check out Sad Lovers and Cowboys, uh, Sad Lovers and Giants. Here's a record that came to me through the e, the uh, BC from a, for a, I wonder if he's passed away. I can't think of his name. Some people have passed away. Um, this was a German fella, and he did have health problems. I think he's gone. He's the one that had Bruno send his album to me, but Bruno Andrew Lee. Hope Beyond Menace. This is electronic. It's it's very much in the school of tangerine dream, arpeggiated, bubbling synthesizers. Really good. Seriously good. Not not copying tangerine dream, but showing uh, ability and a bit of mastery with the electronics. It's a very good album. So. As always, people, let me know how you're doing. I hope you understand me, where I'm coming from. Don't mean nobody no harm. Okay? And um, be safe. I am personally, I've just decided that I'm basically in an isolation mode right now. I went to the store again this morning, and... Um, Again, it's like it's just really sad how many people are out in public unmasked. And I'll say it again, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor, I don't have direct knowledge about COVID, the fact that it exists or it doesn't. But something is not right with the world and it seems to be this virus. And so I'm paying attention to it and I'm going to do my part. And I kind of I do wish that we had more people thinking collectively rather than my rights, my rights. Okay.